Hello! Today let's talk about working with 2D in Unity. So far we've been um, checking mostly 3D stuff, but if you want to make a 2D game, then Unity is perfect for that as well. To start with, we need Sprite, basically a texture. If you Google some character with PNG, uh, you will see that um, in Google Images Preview, you see this checker box, which means this image has transparent background. So you can save it. I have a prepared image. As you can see, it has transparent background. Uh, now to save this file uh, for Unity, we need to save it as an PNG. So I go for Expert and then um, PNG. There will be transparency. So again, we go to our Assets, Textures and let's call him Jason the Turtle. Press save. Now we are ready to work with him. Go to our textures and then you will see Jason the Turtle. If you look in the preview, this doesn't look quite right. I want you to take a look at this icon. So this icon or button, it means that you can check the alpha channel of the image. So when you see this A, it means you are previewing alpha channel and when you see this red, green, blue stripes means you are previewing RGB. Also, here at the bottom you will see that it says RGBA compressed. So what that means, it has uh, three channels, RGB, and it also has a dedicated alpha channel for transparency. For example, if we press our brick on our brick texture, you will see it only has RGB and this icon is absent. So that means that our texture has transparency. Go to the uh, game object, a 3D object, create quad, a polygon, which consists of two triangles. So this is like a very minimalistic and very performance um, optimized geometry. Reset its position, press F to frame selection. We want to assign this texture as you remember, there are several ways of doing that. Let's do the lazy way. Just drag and drop JSON the turtle here, and then Unity will make material for us. Let's press on this material. Here is our JSON the turtle. This doesn't look transparent at all. In order to fix this, we have to fix this in both texture and material level. Let's press on the texture, and here in the inspector, you will see that we have several options. We are interested in alpha is transparency one. The way alpha channel works. White area, which will be opaque, and black area will be transparent. We press alpha is transparency and then we press apply. As you can see, we've got this familiar checker box, which means this thing is now transparent. Currently, this texture is just way too big. You can see that it's 2000 by 2000 pixels and it is 5 megabytes. So this is way too much. We are not really concerned about the memory for now, but let's just keep it small and tidy. At least 512 will be much better. We are looking at, at our quad. I, you can see that this is not what we want. We want something like this. So now we have to solve transparency on the material level. By default, Unity will create a standard shader and rendering mode will be set to opaque. We want transparent. But if we select transparent, it only partially suits our needs. You can see that it still has like semi-transparent area and this is to do with um, smoothness. What we want is fade. As soon as we change to fade, then you can see that our um, opaque area still is getting these highlights, but at the same time our transparent area is completely transparent. Alright, this is very cool and this is exactly what we need. Working in 2D doesn't mean that you have to stick to the 2D mode. If you remember the first lesson, then by pressing this button we switch to 2D mode. Also you can press 2 on your keyboard to toggle 2D mode. As you remember, we cannot orbit into the mode and you can only pan around. Our usual um, ways to manipulate game object are 
move, rotate and scale. But in 2D mode, it also makes sense to use this um, gizmo for 2D manipulation. So you can also adjust scale like that. This is the very basic introduction. And in the next lesson, we will talk about how to work with animated 2D sprites and how to create character animations.